Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your money and career reading for August 2020 for the sign of Capricorn. I hope you're well Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn. This is the Tarot of Dreams. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn. Okay. Capricorn, this is beautiful energy. The Nine of Coins. It's a beautiful card of success. So let's get the cards on the table. So this is the energy deck. What do we have for Capricorn, please? In money and career. Okay. We've got hostilities here, Capricorn number 26. I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message, please, for Capricorn? Any other message for Capricorn? Thank you. We have Healer of the Ages with hostilities. Okay. So angels, what is the message for our lovely Capricorns, please? Money and career. Okay, we have it. It's up to you, Capricorn, as a message from the angels. Okay, so I pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge in terms of money and career. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll go deeper into the message and clarify the cards. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Capricorn. Okay. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Money and career. August 2020, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message? Seven of Cups. This is beautiful. We have the sun. I mean, we are in Leo season. The sun is Leo's ruler. It's a wonderful energy boost. Okay. And your outcome, Capricorn. We've got the Two of Cups here. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn in money and career, please, only for August 2020? That's correct. Okay, thank you. We've got the Nine of Pentacles again. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. The sun, oh my goodness, <laughs> is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. It's coming out a lot this month. I just feel this Leo season is bringing that positive energy shift. And we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, Capricorn. We have it's up to you. You have the answers. You have everything that it takes to make this nine of pentacles come to fruition. That is what you're being told by the angels. Now, there is a message that some of you have been through a difficult situation. You know, hostilities can be bad feeling, arguments, fallouts. I mean, hostile environments, negative work environments. And you've had to deal with that, I feel. But, you know with this healer of the ages you are recovering from it you are getting back on track or well, certainly in august there is an opportunity to now with the ace of pentacles presenting itself and it's leading to this the nine of coins the nine of coins is such a wonderful card in terms of money and career it's the coins energy um this is where you are achieving the goal you're achieving, you're fulfilling your potential in terms of money and career by your hard work. This person has earned every single one of these pentacles by focusing their energies, by grounding themselves, by using their talents to the best of their advantage to bring about conscious physical reward, material success. For some of you, I feel that there is an offer or an opportunity that's going to pay you more money. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, it's interesting, I'm just getting that really clearly. 
Um, I, I kind of feel that this is a new beginning for some of you. It's at a new place. It's very clear for me. Um, and you know, everything's going to get better. So I kind of feel, you know, when the sun comes out, Spirit is saying to you, you've been through a difficult time, you can put that behind you, everything is going to get better from here on in. So, and it's leading to this, being paid what you're worth. So it's a lovely energy. Because for some of you, the Seven of Cups appears sometimes when we're confused, when we don't know what choice to make. And the message with the Seven of Cups is you're being guided to make clear choices here, so you need to trust your intuition to make clear choices on making the right choice for you. And that's why the, it's up to you, because it's almost kind of like your intuition, angel spirits guides, are already telling you instinctively which route to go down now, what choice to make, what decision. Now this can also be there are options open to you. There could be some unconsidered options as well, Capricorn. So it is really about opening your mind to all opportunity here. Because the universe is trying to bring in a specific opportunity linked with, this is about focusing on new hopes, new dreams, and it's almost kind of like one of these opportunities will manifest in a solid offer and opportunity, because you're being offered it at the end of this reading. And it's linking to this, and certainly with the cards on the table, somebody's offering you more money, um, paying you what you're worth, paying you properly for your talents, experience and knowledge. If you've gone through a really difficult time that has made you feel low as well, has made you feel um, question your own value, your own self-worth, this is where you are absolutely getting that back. You know, the sun energy is a re-energizing energy. It is that cosmic boost. It's the feel-good energy. It is uplifting. It also promises new growth. When the sun comes out, everything begins to grow. This can represent good news, celebration, joy, and you come through a difficult time. We've got the wall, the barrier, the difficult period of your life. This is about letting go of that and stepping into your light. Now, I also feel, again, this energy linking with this is you are being illuminated. So trust your intuition, your instincts to make decisions and choices now because the illumination is being given to you towards this opportunity. This is a gift from the universe. There's a reason why there's a star in the pentacle. But the, the aces are not guaranteed. The aces are the result of your hard work. Um, again, this is earth energy. You, you're not a stranger to hard work. You're happy to work hard in order to reap the rewards of your success. Um, what doesn't always make you happy, Capricorn, is when you're not paid or valued in whatever context for your contribution here. And I certainly feel for some of you, this is a new opportunity, a new job. Let go of the old because there is a new job that is going to pay you more. It's interesting, it's so clear. I think that there is, this is interesting, yeah, and this can also be online. So some of you could be applying for jobs online. Some of you be, could be connecting to recruitment agents or talking to companies, HR departments, you know what I mean? Um, some of you may well be doing that, and I feel that there is a solid opportunity coming your way as a result of hard work, or hard work because what you've been setting your sights on is manifesting and that's what you're being told your challenge has been this but this is saying it's coming to some of you this month and remember the bird in the picture it's a dove here I think it's a falcon here you are being guided by spirit towards this success you are being given the helping hand here the blessing the gift from the universe. So put your energies in the right direction. And for some of you there, there I kind of feel that this is an offer, an opportunity, a bonus, uh, somebody paying you more money. Um, I feel it's a new opportunity where someone's paying you more money. Yeah, and I feel this links with this, the Seven of Cups. Who you've been connecting to, who you've been talking to. Um, some of you could have had interviews to do with opportunities. Yeah, this is a new beginning, take a leap of faith, take a chance, 
towards what this, what this offer represents now. The Two of Cups is an offer, an invitation that brings you joy. It is something that you really want. <clears throat> and it's leading, you know, Seven of Pentacles is a card of you need to evaluate. It's interesting. This message is the success, the Nine of Pentacles, comes from you evaluating where you need to place your energy and time now. You know, and you are Capricorn energy. How you use your time wisely, you're ruled by Saturn. So the Seven of Pentacles is don't waste your time on whatever this hostility was that you've been recovering from. It is time to focus on new hopes, new dreaming dreams, to bring a positive change in terms of your financial outlook. Because for some of you, there is a gifted opportunity here that you need to put your effort in to make it happen. But it is when you evaluate what's not worth your time and what is and put your energy towards that put in the hard work that's when you bring positive change you turn around in your situation towards a powerful new beginning and liberate yourself from what's gone so it's a beautiful energy capricorn and i feel for some of you it's linking towards real hard-earned success i think you're going to get more money um yeah You see, the seven, yeah, I will say actually, the seven of pentacles can be somebody who is evaluating their options because they're not being valued for what they're worth. There's a level of frustration with the seven of pentacles as well. So they're evaluating their options in terms of what's worth my time and effort now and what do I need to do to get more money? Because clearly where I am is not giving me the reward that I deserve. So it's a beautiful energy of... I feel that there is a new opportunity coming your way. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? We have my appreciation of it attracts its essence to me. An extremely effective use of your creative workshop is to ponder the aspects of your appreciate aspects you appreciate regarding your most important subjects. Utilizing the workshop in this way will accomplish everything required for deliberate creation. In your emotion of appreciation, you are allowing that which you desire to manifest into your life experiences. I mean, and that's the best part. You know, we have in your emotions of appreciation, you are allowing that which you desire to manifest into your life experiences and I kind of feel for some of you this is you appreciating you that's what the angels are saying it's up to you know your self-worth in bringing about real value in your external environment it's all to do with that manifesting energy isn't it and I feel for some of you as soon as you do that's when you get clarity on how to move forward in a situation it's a lovely energy Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.